I contacted the, the local police. I called the Charlottesville Police Department and I asked them, I, I said, I have, I have been told that there's a warrant out for my arrest. Um, and they, uh, they said that they wouldn't confirm it, but that I could find this out if I, <clears throat> excuse me, that I could find this out if I wanted to go to a local magistrate or something like that. But with everything that's happening, I don't think it's wise for me to be, you know, going, going anywhere. There's a state of emergency. The National Guard is here. Um, you know, so I don't, I don't think it's a good idea for me to go there, frankly. Um, and I don't, I don't know what to do. I've emailed Stephen Tenney of the Keene Police Department. Sorry. I have emailed Stephen Tenney of the Keene Police Department. He's well, one of the cops who came there. Um, <clears throat> he's one of the cops who saved my ass when I had to pull my gun in Keene. And I emailed him and I said, I don't know what to do. I need guidance. Um, I want to be peaceful. I want to be law abiding. Okay. That was the whole entire point of this. And I'm watching CNN talk about this as violent white nationalist protests. We have done everything in our power to keep this peaceful. You know, I know we talk a lot of shit on the internet, right? But like literally Jason Kessler applied for a permit like months ago for this. Okay. When they yanked our permit, we went to the ACLU and we went to court and we won. We've been coordinating with law enforcement the entire time. Every step of the way, we've tried to do the right thing. And they just won't stop, you know? We have done everything in our power. We have used every peaceful and, and lawful means by which to redress our grievances. And our enemies just will not stop. We've been fucking assaulted. They, they are threatening us all over the place. Chelsea Manning, this tranny fanatic, has a picture of himself, herself, talking about curb-stomping Nazis with a picture of his boot coming down on somebody. We are trying to make this peaceful. We are trying to be law-abiding. And our enemies will not stop. What options do we have left? If somebody would like to inform me of that, then, then I will be grateful to you. I really will. I guess, I guess that's basically it. I, you know, I, I don't know what else to say. If, again, you know what? I'll just say it here. Uh, 631-791-5842. If law enforcement wants me to turn myself in or they want to know my location, all they have to do is call that number, okay? And if, and if we can set up a, a means of communication where I can verify that you're the police, I, I, will, I will either I will go to the police station or wherever you tell me to go, or if I can confirm that you are in fact law enforcement, I will give you my location and I will and I will let you come and get me. Okay, I'm armed. I do not want violence with you. All right, I'm terrified. I'm afraid you're going to kill me. I really am. All right, so just let's do this. However, we need to do it. You know, if I if I got to go to jail today, you know, it, it won't be the fucking first time. All right. I don't want to. I don't think I should. I think I've, I honestly believe that I've been law-abiding and, uh, and I, I've been engaged in violence. I have. There's, there's no question about it. And, I, and, I, and I've done nothing to hide that. But it was done in defense of myself and others. And I would not have done it in, in any other, for any other reason. And by the way, if University of Virginia was not a gun-free zone and I had my pistol, I would have stayed far away from that goddamn melee, okay? I, when, I, when I do not have a weapon on me, I, I feel it necessary to stop threats before they get out of hand, okay? When I have my weapon, I'm cool as a cucumber, folks. Uh, I, I do not, I do not fucking fight with people. Uh, uh, you know, you would have heard about it by now, right? If I was a violent guy, you would have heard about it by now. Everybody in their mother wants to fucking ruin my life. Okay. And if, and if, and if I wanted violence, it's not a difficult thing for a guy like me to find. Okay. Um, so yeah, there we go. All right. Maybe I'll be back later. I don't know. I'm sorry for anybody who's waiting on a live episode of Radical Agenda, but I think you can understand, you know, the situation I'm in. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. All right. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks everybody. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll try to keep you informed. Thanks.